Hello, boys and girls. My name is Mr. Robot, and teacher Ari invited me to our kinder lesson so we could learn about sight words. Teacher Amy said, you are so smart, and I can come to class, and you will help me learn about sight words. I do not know what a sight word is. Please help me learn. Thank you. That is correct, boys and girls. We have a special guest staying with us today during kinder lesson class time. It is Mr. Robot, and he is already with his worksheet called Sight Word Tracing. It's got lots of words on it, and today we are going to learn them together. That is right, boys and girls. I will learn with you. Yes, you are more than welcome to stay, Mr. Robot. Thank you, Teacher Ari. Well, boys and girls, let's learn together. Even with you at home and me here at school, we can learn. That's what I usually say. Great job, Mr. Robot. I'm gonna put you right down over here. Okay, that's perfect. I can see the board. Are you sure? Yes, I can see the board. I will learn sight words. Boys and girls, let's do it together. Even though you're home and I'm here with Mr. Robot, we can do our lesson together to help your brain grow. I don't know about you, boys and girls, but I was so excited about this lesson. I know some of you are so close to being a reader. Maybe you read with your mom and dad at night before bed. Maybe you sound out words. Well, we're going to teach you some different words today where you don't sound out the sounds. You just learn what they say and you try to remember it in your brain. They're called sight words. Sight words. And here they are. But before we talk about sight words, let's talk about the difference between a regular word you're trying to learn to read and a sight word. A regular word, let's say cat, for example, cat. You can sound that out if you know your phonic sounds. K, A, T, cat. You put it together and you have the word cat. But sight words are a little different. If you try to sound most of them out, it doesn't work. Let's try one. Here is a sight word. T-H-E, the, T-H-E. Let's sound that out using our phonic sounds. T-T-T-H-H-E-A, Wait a minute, is that a real word? No, because it's a sight word. We just have to remember that T-H and the letter E says the, the. So that's the difference between a sight word and a regular word. If you can sound out regular words, k, a, t, for cat, or d, a, g, for dog, you're a reader already. Did you know that? If you can sound out a word with three letters, s, a, uh, n, sun, you're a reader. And now let's take your reading to the next level where you know your sight words, and that makes it more fun to read stories. All right, let's get started, boys and girls. So you have your paper, First things first, what do we do? Name on your paper, first thing. Always start your letters at the top, at the top. My name is Ari, so that's what I would write on my paper. If your name is Doodlebug, you would write Doodlebug on your paper. Whatever your name is, go ahead and write it up. I don't know if there's a line on your paper. There might not be up there. You might have to just put it up there yourself, make a little line, and then put your name on it. And then let's get started. Now remember, proper pencil position, not too strong, not too weak, or else you'll drop it. Back straight, feet down on the floor, flat table in front of us, and let's do it. I'll say the first sight word, and then you say it. She, she. Hey, she, that's a real word, and it's our first sight word. First thing you do is you trace the word. Always start your letters at the top, at the top. See how I followed the dots on my paper? And now you're thinking, what about all this space? That's so much space, teacher Ari. What are we going to do there? That's a great question. We're going to practice writing she by yourself without the dots. If you're not a writer yet, that's okay. Maybe you just practice writing one of those letters. Maybe you pick the S because you want to learn to write an S today. So you would go over here a little bit further and write the S. I'm going to write the whole word. S-H-E. She. Is that a real word? Yes, it is. Now look, 
I'm not gonna waste the rest of my paper. I'm gonna keep making my brain grow bigger and bigger by practicing it again and again. Now I know some of you can write very small because you're getting very smart, like a big kid, like one day, like your parents, how they write so small. So I bet some of you can fit a lot of she's in there. I'm gonna see how many she's I can fit. Sh, e, she, she. She. Hey, huh. I hear a sh sound. S H in she must make a sh sound. She. She. Wait a second. I just thought of something, boys and girls. If you take the S off of she, you have the word he. He. And if you put the S back on, you have the word she. So there's another word hidden inside of a word. He is hidden inside of she. Wow, that's awesome. I did not know that, Teacher Ari. There are hidden words inside of other words. Yes, Mr. Robot. Huh. Let's see if there's any more during our lesson. If you spot one, just let us know. All right, let's move to the next one. We talked about this word before. The. The. Can you trace the? I did it. Did you? I'm going to try to write it by myself. T H E. The. Are you going to try to write the whole word the? Or maybe just one of the letters? The. Uh, teacher Ari, yes, Mr. Robot? If you take the T off of the word the, it's he. What? Wait, let me try it. So I'm not going to write the T. I'm just going to write H-E. Oh my goodness, you're right. He is hidden in the word the. But if I put the T in front, now it says the. If I don't put the T, it says he. Yes, I just learned that, Teacher Ari. I'm getting smart already. Yes, you are, little robot. Good for you. I can squeeze one more the in way over here. How many can you squeeze in? Some of you out there, are you writing so small and practicing the so many times, maybe even off the line? Oh, that's going to give your hand a good workout and it's going to make your brain bigger. Let's go to the next word. Said. 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 That is a sight word. Can you say said? Very good. Let's trace it. S ed. Said. What does said mean? Oh, like I said that the robot could come and join us today. Yes, you did. Thank you. Yeah, no problem, buddy. So said. Let's try to write it together. S A I D said s a i d how many times are you going to write said or maybe you just want to practice the s that's fine too s s s's are tricky s s s it reminds me of a snake s s said i can read said now very good mr robot i'm proud of you I'm going to squeeze one more in over here. Is your paper starting to fill up with all of the words you're learning? Let's go to the next one. Huh. Here. 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 H. E. R. E. Here. H. E. R. -E. E. Now, there are two words called here. There's this kind, here, like we are here together right now. But then there's also another word here, like I can hear. This one means we are here right now. H. Very good, Mr. Robot. E. Very good. R. Nice job. E. Very good, Mr. Robot. You know how to spell here. Boys and girls, you're helping me help the robot learn. Yes, this is fun. 
I wish I could come to kinder lesson every day. Oh, thanks, buddy. I hope you come back next time. Hey, do you have any robot friends? You know, that live in the school? Yes, I do. Great! Have them join us too next time. Oh, this is going to be great, boys and girls. We're going to have a lot of robots come to our next class. All right, let's check the next word. Here we go. Does anyone want to try to read it? Little. Little. I am not little. Oh, no, we know you're not little, Mr. Robot. You are, look at you, you're getting so big, you're almost three lines tall. One, two, three. Yes, we are getting to know you, and we're getting to know that you're big. You're smaller than me, but you're not little. Something littler than a robot would be like an ant or a marble. He's not that little. I am not little at all. Okay, okay, I know, I know, it's all right. You're not little. In, in fact, your brain is growing too, right now, bigger, just like mine and just like our classmates. Let's try the next word, boys and girls. I know it's little. Very good, Mr. Robot. L-I-T-T-L-E. Let me spell that again for you. L-I and then two T's. T-T and then L-E. L-E. Go ahead. See if you can write the word little. How many times can you get it on the line? I got it on my line 10 times. Whoa, Mr. Robot, 10 times? Great job. You're really turning out to be quite a good student. All right, boys and girls, let's move to the next word. Does anyone want to try to read it? R, very good, R, like we are here today. Let's try it together. A. R E A R E A R E A R E You sound like a broken record. What? What? I was just spelling R. I know, but you said it over and over. That is funny. What? I didn't know robots knew what was funny. Wow, that's pretty smart. Yes, robots can laugh too. Ha 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 ha, he he he. <laughs> that's a funny laugh, Mr. Robot. You're pretty cute. All right, let's go to the next word, boys and girls. Have. We have a class we are doing together. We have a marker. We have a robot. You do not have me. What? No, I mean, like, we have a robot here in class with us today. Oh, yes, I am here. You have me here. Right, here we go. Have. H. A. V. E. H. A. V. E. Have. Can you say have? Very good, boys and girls. How many times are you going to write it on your paper? Or maybe you're just picking a letter, like E. At the end of have is the letter E. You could practice E's on your paper. If that's a letter, you're hoping to get better at making. Even when you think you know how to write all the letters in the alphabet, even if your brain could tell me all the letters, do you know why it's good practice to keep practicing writing? because you get better and better. And proper practice makes proper penmanship. And that's a fancy way of saying, how good are you at writing letters? All right, let's keep going. We have two left. My, my. M, Y spells my. And check this out. This letter has a Y and it hangs down. Do you see how it does that? So when you write your own, write your M on the line, but when you write your Y, let the bottom part of the Y drop down, down below the line. That's called a descender. So that letter has a descender in it that goes below the bottom line. My. 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 And don't forget, 
the descender goes below the line. It's okay to go down if you have a descender letter. This is the last one, boys and girls. Yes, it is. How is, oh, Mr. Robot, nice work. Boys and girls, we're all working together so well. Let's do it. One more. Do you want to try to read the last one? Let's all say it together. Ready? Like. Like. Now that is a sight word. And it's a good one to finish on because I liked doing this with you and you, Mr. Robot. L. I. K E L I K E. Now, when you do the I, don't forget, you don't want the dot of the I to be on the line. You want the dot of the I to be above the line, kind of like it's floating right above it. L I with the floating dot K E. L I K E. L I K E. Wow, we did it, boys and girls. And what about me? Oh, yes, you did it too, robot. Wow, look at all those sight words. Boys and girls, let's read them over one more time together. Ready? Here we go. She, the, said, here, little, are, have, my, and like. That was fun. Yes, you're right, Mr. Robot. It was fun. Boys and girls, thank you so much for coming to Kinder Lesson today. And remember, if you keep this worksheet that you work so hard on, that you practice your letters on, you can use it again. Tomorrow, when you're eating your cereal or eating your lunch, you could just have it next to you and you could practice remembering these words. She, 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 the, 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 said, 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 look, even the robot's trying to learn. Boys and girls, thank you so much for coming to class. Now wait, before you go, I've got a sticker for you. It's a cute one. It is another unicorn. And why is it another unicorn? Because unicorns are so cute and I'm still looking for one. You know, I went for another walk and I didn't find a unicorn, but I'm going to keep looking. Great job, boys and girls. See you next time.